Hey guys, I wanted to give you a little overview in case you were buying our cool connectors separately and wanted to install it onto your own motors. Um, installation is super easy. What you do is we got our motor side connectors. These are custom made from um, coolants in case you wanted other connectors. But these connectors, are we've got them on our site. Um, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some, um, some PTFE threaded tubing, or I'm sorry, some, some um, um, threaded uh, tape, Teflon tape basically, I believe it is. And we're going to wrap the threads a couple of times uh, just to get both of them prepared. Then I'm going to remove the little uh, the nuts, the stock nuts on there. I'm going to grab a, um, a rubber mallet and a 12 millimeter um, wrench here. I'm going to put it into place and I'm going to gently tap it just to make sure that I know that it's starting to move. And I'm going to do that to both of them. Nice and easy. So then once, the, once I know they're moving, then I can easily remove the stock connectors. Go, remove the other one. There we go. Well, we got them both off. I'm going to grab a little brush. We're going to give that a nice clean. Get those threads cleaned out. Just make sure everything's nice and easy in there. Then we're going to take our pre-taped um, connector, set that gently into place, and we're going to start turning it. Now the threads uh, match up with our spindle motors, and we're going to take a, this is a, a 5 8 inch wrench, and we're going to slowly turn it. Nice and easy. These, these no-leak connectors are made out of brass by default. Um, that's how they make them um, there at coolants. And we're going to turn it until it just touches the top. We do not want to over tighten it. In fact, we don't want to really tighten these very much at all because the, being brass, these could easily pop right off. But get that started. Nice and easy. Just go nice and slow. It, it doesn't take a whole lot of force to turn these things. The Teflon tape will help keep the uh, threads from um, any issues there. And it should go nice in nice and slow and easy. And again, once the connector, the top of the connector, touches the top of the spindle motor, stop right there. Don't turn it. Don't overturn it. Don't tighten it. It's fine. These should be hand tightened, according to the manufacturer, uh, the coolants. So once you've got that connection, you're done. This motor has now been upgraded and ready for a customer. I'm actually going to box it up right now and send it out. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Um, and otherwise, you can find the link in the description to these, as well as our spindle kits and everything else. Um, remember, don't just own your CNC. Dominate it!